This purse up here reminds me of something that Sophia Petrillo would yes. have. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday, January 20th. I've taken a couple days off. I actually did not get dressed for the past two days. Spent the entire day yesterday putting together a thousand-piece puzzle. That's what I did all day. Like, that was it. So, I got a lot of stuff to do and to get caught up on. Right, Maybell? But I wanted to show you. I'm getting ready to put on my makeup. We've got... I'm, I've, I've got a special guest that's coming today. Today's going to be an exciting day. I have a special guest that's coming today. We're going to go to Riverside today. Maybe to Dollar Tree. I don't know that we'll have time to go to Dollar Tree today, but we're definitely going to Riverside today and then maybe another antique mall with my special guest. And then we've got, I got to do a reel. So I'm going to show you the things that are going to be on Monday sale because I'm having a sale Monday this Monday 1 p.m. Eastern over on mid-century wasted YouTube channel I will link it all in the description I'll show you what I'm gonna be selling then preview for Tuesday we've got eBay orders to to to, to go over and a virtual antique marketplace orders to go over so we got a lot going on today but before we do any of that I gotta put makeup on and it just so happens that uh, Yet a Home has sent me a makeup vanity to do a review on. So I'm going to show it to you today. I'm really excited to use it. I actually have it in the guest room because I don't have room for it in my bedroom. So I'm going to be making this my like, I guess my makeup changing area. But let me show you the vanity. I really wanted something that was small, compact, that had a lighted mirror, that had storage. And this, you know, checked all of those boxes. And I will link Yet a Home's. Um, I'll link this particular vanity and their website in the description. So if you decide that you want to um, look into it and possibly get one, it came very, very fast. It came within a week. Um, so that was really, really nice. It has this nice padded stool there. And, and it, we've got some drawers. So we've got this great lighted mirror that is all touch screen. So you can touch it and it goes to different modes, which is really, really nice. You can also hold it down and it either makes it darker or brighter again. I tend to like kind of more of a natural lighting. And then the greatest part, I got my little Christ here holding my, some of my makeup brushes, but we've got storage. Now I am going to bring, I have some little baskets at the shop that I'm going to bring to organize this a little bit more, but this is my go-to everyday makeup. I just stuck it all in this drawer and then I've got an empty drawer. I actually need to clean out my dresser drawer that has the rest of my makeup stuff in it. And then I have beauty blenders and makeup wipes down there. And then in this drawer, I've got some, just some more lipsticks and some creams and just extra things. I got more lipsticks and no, these are perfumes in here. So it is, hi, it is a really nice, compact, vanity and I, I love it. So this is actually, Mark just put it together. This is the first time I'm going to use this makeup vanity to put my makeup on. So we'll go ahead and do that together. I've got this phone case here that I can stick to the mirror so we can put on the makeup and um, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and do that now on our Yitta makeup vanity. I'm really excited. So it can be like a little bit of a get ready with me. And Maybell. Hi, Maybell. Cheers to the cherry slush, Ilani. Okay, if you do not have one of these little makeup headbands, you really, you really should be getting them. Ah, I gotta go wet down my blender. I'll be right back. Also, real quick too, these beauty blenders, these paw paw. I, I, I was a technique, real techniques beauty blender. This is one that I just wet down. It, it grows when you get it. It grows in the water. But I do have these linked in my Amazon uh, storefront, which is linked in the description as well if you are interested in getting those. But I've got my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Now, this one's a little light. It is, it's, it's very light. Um, 
I normally wear a shade darker, but I ran out. So you're going to see me looking a little bit like the Corpse Bride somewhat. And my camera is right here. I'm going to do my best to not constantly looking over there. But I'm going to be looking, I'm going to be looking right at you with my scary face. Okay, so we're just going to blend in. We're going to blend it in. Full coverage, as you can see. All right. I'm going to speed this up a little bit until I get it all blended in. Look at there. It's your puffer pants. The game's all here. Okay. I got that all. I got that all blended in. Now, second step. What I like to do is put on some pressed powder. This is Airspun. I get this at Walmart. It's great. I really need to get a new Kabuki brush because I've had this one for quite a while. But we just powder that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Shape tape. Tarte shape tape. You know, Missy, you're just making a get ready with me video. And I think I'm going to blame it on being in a different location. It's kind of nice, I have to say, sitting at my Yitta desk or my Yitta makeup vanity, not having to stand at my dresser to put on my makeup. Treat yourself a little bit, get you a little bit of a sitting uh, vanity that doesn't take up a lot of space. It has this beautiful lighted mirror anyway. I think I'm really going to like it. I do. And typically, I won't be filming myself putting on my makeup and all that jazz, so I'll get it done a little bit quicker than what I'm at the rate that I'm going right now. But okay, okay, we put on our that to conceal the darkness and bags under our eyes from staying up till two, three o'clock in the morning to edit vlogs. You know how that goes. Okay, we'll get that. We'll brush it up with a little bit of powder. Now, I saved this powder out because I'll use it, like, after I get everything on before I put on my spritzer. Okay. The next thing I do is some Too Faced bronzing slash highlighting powder. And I use kind of a bigger brush. Again, I probably am not using any tools correctly. That's okay, because this is the idiot's guide to putting on makeup. I don't watch makeup vloggers. I don't watch any of that kind of stuff. I just go by figuring it out as I go. My next product is, this is Ace Beauté, the rosy cheek color. I like this stuff. I don't like that it's in this itty bitty little thing. I don't like that part about it. But I tend to go pretty high up on my cheekbones. Get a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my forehead. Just gotta put it all over like that. Then, K Voss Fairy Dust. And I just put this, it's double, dual sided. I usually just use kind of the, the lighter side and put a little bit underneath my eyes and high up on my cheekbones, on my nose. This isn't the right brush. You, you, I don't like you, you, what is this? This is a great brush. It is half caked. This is a great highlighter. Yeah, it's got some sustenance to it. That other one was just a flopping around flimsy, flopping around flimsy thing. Next, you know, we got to pay a little bit of attention to our eyebrows. This is Maybelline, the Tattoo Studio. X500, Walmart. A little bit of definition and give them a little bit of color. Doesn't change it drastically, which is fine, but it just still just does give it. You're giving it some love, I guess you could say. Okay, man, my next favorite part. Do you guys have a certain routine that you put on your, your makeup? I do. I do it the same way all the time. I got my Cup of Ambition lippies. My go-to is, I cannot sing their praises enough, is ColourPop 
lippy stick, ColourPop Cosmetics, every single, every single product is amazing. And they're, uh, that's it. And it'll stay on all day. I, I should have told you what color that was. I'm so bad at this. Nope, it wasn't that one. It was you. Brink. Brink. Not brick, but like you're on the brink of a good idea. The brink of a brink. That's the that's the one. Maybe, you know, you can do a lip liner. I don't ever do. I probably I know that I should. And you really should do your lip liner before you put your lipstick on. But we didn't do that today. We didn't do that. You fell into my powder. Are you okay? You made, a, you made a mess everywhere, though. Also, I did not... This is this is not good, but I also put on a primer, which I didn't do today. New Space, New Routines. This is the uh, Siete uh, Vitamin Boost Plumping Primer. I really, really like this. It came in one of my beauty boxes. And I probably will be ordering me some more because I really did like it. All right. The next thing is our Color Pop. These are the Super Shock. They're my go-to. I actually, whenever I open up one of the Frog, Color Pop Frog, whenever I open one up, I immediately order another one. Now, the cool thing about this is Target and, yeah, Target. Target now sells ColourPop products, so that makes it really, really easy if you don't live um, near an Ulta, so that's really, really nice, but I usually just, I've ordered it online, and it's came from ColourPop.com. It's came very, very quickly, but I use a triangular shape brush, which I wish I could find more of because I need to replace this makeup brush with a new one. But I, I want a triangular size one. I just I just brush it all over my lid. Over the entire lid. Over it all. I don't know how to do fancy things. This next one is what I use for the lid. This one is... I gotta, I gotta put my eyeballs on so you can do it. Bubbly. Bubbly. It's kind of like a pink. But it's got that super shock. And I just put that with more of a flat brush on the lid. Then, the leftover powder I have from, from my little kabuki brush. Put that all over. When you fell into the powder, you made a mess. You did. So I'll have to wipe you up. I am going to put on a purple eyeliner today. This is also ColourPop. And it is drama free. And it's a, a bluish purple. Sometimes I just don't want to do the black. Look at that, how pretty that is. So, you're going to get a little up close and personal with me. All right, while we put this on, I just go on the top of my lid. It's a liquid liner. I just go over the top of the lid. Make a and I make a little bit of a cat eye. Okay, you have to bear with me because trying to do this into the phone is not easy. <laughs> it really isn't. So you know. We're doing the best that we can. Let me start on this other eye. I like the purple liner. I actually get a lot of compliments on it too. So I think if you've got light colored eyes, or maybe it would be really dramatic if you've got darker eyes too. It might be really pretty. I gotta go down low, guys. Normally I use this, and this is from Dollar Tree. Um, it is the LA Collar Liquid Liner. This is my go-to, and I stock up on it because I'm scared that they're gonna that they're gonna discontinue it one day. So I stock up on that. I have a drawer full of it, and then. My favorite mascara is Thrive Mascara. It is the best stuff. You can see how nice it goes. I know some people say, don't do, don't pump your tube. It's a habit. I'm trying to break the habit, but it's a habit. I absolutely, I mean, I just, I absolutely love this mascara. I'm sorry, I'm talking it over there, but you can see the difference in my eyes 
with having it on and not having it on. I do get, which makes me laugh, because like I said, I am a 49-year-old woman who doesn't know what they're doing with makeup. It just kind of does what I know how to do, which isn't a lot. I do get a lot of compliments on my makeup in the comments of the video, so thank you guys. You're so sweet. Uh, I, do, I do get some that aren't so nice, too, but, you know, we don't pay attention to those fools. This is not easy to do. It's easier to do when you're looking in the mirror than it is looking in this phone. I don't know why that is, but all right, I'm going to touch this up a little bit in the mirror and I'll come back. Okay. It is done. The last thing I do is put on this Ace Beauty seal it, which is just seals your, seals it on, seals your makeup on. And it lasts all day. I see I got a little bit of a clump right there. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. But that's that's it. That is that's all she wrote as far as a get ready with me. Other than you know, and I will leave the house with my hair just like it is. I got a hairband on, and I'll end up pulling it up at some point throughout the day. But. I like my makeup vanity so, so much. And look, look at how nice this is. It's so, so nice. And I've got lots of room to add more things. I got a whole empty drawer here. So this is very, very nice. Mark was so kind to put it together for me. And I love the little, the little touch screen there. So thank you to Yetta Home for sending me this makeup vanity i'm telling you what if you've got a smaller space and you're wanting a nice little area of that for you to sit and do your spa things it's a great place you could sit and do your nails at it here too because of the light it lights up so nice thank you so much to Diana. and i will link them down in the description so you can check them out they have all different kinds of furniture i just was really interested in a kind of a compact makeup vanity and they do have a lot of different models and options in different colors so I got this one because it does match the black in in the bed so yay thank you yet home link is in the description all right I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we gotta get over to the shop because we got a lot to do today but some fun things to do today too lot of sales on eBay more than what I realized I just checked again this morning but I sold this little September he is a left in September boy sold him I sold these sweet dream collagen masks came out of a beauty box the Star Wars X-Wing game move over mr. duck that's new sealed. I've had this for quite a while. So I took a best offer on that because it has been in my on my shelf for a long time. I sold this little um, Reniger Boxer pup. Little Bone China pup. I sold this Georgetown Pottery Flower Frog. Boop. I sold this, I have one left, this Anchor Hawking, this Rain Flower candle holder. And three, three, three packs of the cocaine spoons. So one, two. It's just, just every time I sell one of these, it just blows my mind because I had so many of them. Three. So three packs of the McDonald's McSpoons that are banned. Well, they were not sold anymore because people were doing not nice things with them. I'm going to say they're doing them, they're using them for arts and crafts. That's what they're using for them for now. So these were all eBay sales. And then I did sell this beautiful antique basket on virtual antique marketplace. So this sold as well. So I'm going to get all of these things shipped out, taken to the post office today. I do need to check my P.O. box as well. 
And yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. Riverside, but I have a special, two special guests that are gonna be in the vlog today. Hello. It's Barb! <laughs> and it's uh, Aria, right? I was, I've not called you Ariana. <laughs> that, there's already, there's only one Ariana. <laughs> well, there's more than one Ariana, but the only the one that means the most, most to us right. in this world. All right, so they came down for a cheer competition, right? So we want to go into Riverside and see what we can find today with Barb. Yay. Well, Liberace would be loving that candelabra. It's a fancy candelabra there. Ooh, Aria, you want that um, Cabbage Patch Clown? Yeah. Good. Nobody should have that. <laughs> what do you say that you're looking forward to seeing? A well, <laughs> booth number, I can't Booth 16, 16, of course. Yeah. And, and Daphne's. <laughs> Daphne's. I haven't been here since we've been gone, so let's get a cart. Oh, here, we'll just get, we'll get, we're going to probably each need to get a cart, so we'll, we'll each get a little cart. We have orders to get a couple of things. Oh my gosh, look at Aria, look at Daphne's creations. So I had a request to get, oh, I don't think that it's gone, I'll have to, I'll have to re- look at my messages again and see because I had some orders to get a few things and now I don't remember. Look at the look at that little hat. I like these too. Yeah, she does really, really good. I have so many hats. I love this one, the chartreuse one. Yeah. That one was my favorite one. But they're not bad for a homemade hat. No. I think that they were only ten ninety five. You can't get a hat in Walmart for that much. You yeah. know? This one's cute too. So, and then she's got the little headbands yeah. as well, too. So, really, really cute. All right, we turned the corner, and she has stocked her booth. Look at the little pigs. Aww. And are these... Um, oh, uh, DeForest? Yeah, well, they're as is. They're $25. Mm. I don't know what the as is, but she does mark everything, if there's any kind of boobers on them at all. Yeah. Oh, there's a clown, Barb, a rubber-faced <laughs> clown. Nah, we could no. pass on that one. There's a cute bird. Oh, yeah. He's kind of cute. That's cute. Maybe. Oh, those mugs are cute, too, with the flowers on them. Yeah. So we're just going to scan around and show you what's... Oh, my gosh. Brownie hats. Oh. We used to wear those to school, Aria. Those little <laughs> brownie hats when we had brownie meeting day. She's kind of... Oh, she's a clown. Ugh. I don't know what to say about her. <laughs> this is cute. Look how cute that is. That little bear is going to water its flowers. That's only $7. That's cute. The little bear almost Spank. resembles like a rubber face bear. It does. Know. That is super cute. And then she's got all kinds of funsies up here. So she's restocked. That's really cute. What is it? What did someone write on that mermaid's tushy? <laughs> it's, I think Tommy? it's Terry or Tommy? Ter Terry. 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 Mm. Terry wrote his name on that yeah, mermaid's bottom. Here. Oh, there's headbands. Look at oh, those. And the cute. Oh, my gosh. You remember those? Yeah. <gasps> yes. Oh, those are cute. Really, really cute. It has a mermaid on it. But... I wonder if we could get... Is that kind of scratched in there? Let's see. I wonder if we could get that off. Yeah, I don't know if it would come off. By... Knee, evil can evil. It's <laughs> it's too. It's cute. <laughs> this purse up here reminds me of something that Sophia Petrillo would yes, have. <laughs> for sure. Picture it, Sicily, <laughs> 1921. Okay, Barb and Aria are still with me, but we're going to around the corner to Southern Roots Country Store. And just for reference, if you are coming this way, Riverside, where we just left is right there so you just follow the path we're also going to go today into white river and that little flea market over there but right now southern roots country store all right when i first walked in i saw the rc freeze i got two they're nine dollars so they're it's a it's a little bit of a splurge of a snack <laughs> but oh my gosh they're so good so aria's gonna get some sour ones and i'm gonna get the Skittles for Mark because he really likes those, but man, these ice cream sandwiches, Aria, they're good. All right, so we've got some Fire King mugs, a set of four for 19. That's a good price. And then a little butterfly. What is this, the butterfly? No, friendship pattern, Pyrex? Um, for um, Amish. Amish butter, butter print? print? <laughs> yeah, I think it's I Amish know. butter print um, for uh, 9 dollars 
But you know what? You could, even though that it doesn't have the lid, I mean, you could put, you know, bobby pins in there or yeah, lipsticks, I'll put it on your vanity or sugar packets in it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there still has a lot of function with that, even though it doesn't have its lid. These are really cute. They're $5 for the set of them. They were professionally framed at BJ's mm -hmm. in Newburgh, Indiana. That is a really cute print there, the little Holland boy and girl. They're going to the church. There they are dancing in front of the windmill. I think those are really, really cute. $5 for the pair. And then back here, there's a couple new boots. This drop leaf table is really pretty. I used to really want one of those. I never oh, did get one. I love, I still have mine. I love it. I don't, I, it uh, is always that size. I don't ever spread it out, but yeah. you have the option to if you, if you need to. I'm getting really into the silver plate. I don't know how to tell which ones are like it, better than others. It doesn't matter to me. I just yeah. buy it. Yeah. But I'm not, this is 24. I'm not seeing a price. I'm not seeing a price on them. Hmm. This booth back here is really cute too. And I'm going to get both of these sugar-free strawberry syrups because I've been <laughs> putting them in with my lemonades. This looks like a big Padilla. Are you Padilla? It looks like those big Padilla hmm. mugs. I love that drip glaze. That's $12. That would be pretty with flowers in it. It's giving me some 90s vibes. There's some Cupies. Is that a flamingo? It could be. <laughs> I think it's like coming out of your wall or swan, maybe. I love the new kids on the bus. Like, right. so <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the right stuff. Okay, so now we've stopped for lunch. We're eating lunch here in Mitchell, Indiana at the Railroad Cafe. It's just a local place. It's locally owned. It's really, really good. So we still got Aria and Barb with us. <laughs> And let's go and have some lunch. Well, we just got done eating, and I didn't even show you what we what I got. But we got fried pickles, corn crack, which is like a cowboy caviar, and I got like a little pepperoni slider kind of deal. But I I didn't show you. Whew, careful there, you're sliding around. I didn't show you what we got to eat, but we had a good time. But they've already left. Aria has a cheer competition, so they just came down to visit for a little bit, but it's always good to check in, you know, and, and see Barb. So, it's always good. And eventually, I'm gonna get down to visit little baby Jeff Jeff. I just, I haven't had the chance to, but we've been talking about it, so I will get down there to visit uh, little, little baby, little baby Jeff Jeff down there, which is real nifty vintage. And if you don't know, which, I always just assume that everybody knows who everybody is, you know, but Barb is Jeffrey's friend, all from Real Nifty Vintage. But a lot of you, you know, you, you know who Barb is. Anyway, I'm heading back to the shop now. I've got to get, uh, well, you know, I'm gonna go to the post office first. I think that they're still open on a Saturday. I'm going to go to the, try to go to the post office first, and then I'm going to go, I have to film my reel for Monday's sale with Jamie Mid-Century Wasted, and I'll show you the things that I'm going to be selling during that sale, um, and I need to get my reel done for Tuesday's sale. So I am going to work tomorrow as well. Uh, today's Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, so I'm going to come back into the shop on Sunday to get some stuff done as well. But... Um, I'm gonna check my P.O. box. I'm certain that I have some friend mail. People told me that I should be expecting something. So I don't know that I'm gonna have time to open it up in this video. Um, I also have a mystery box from Booth 16 that I need to open that I haven't opened yet. So um, we'll see what I can get done as far as when I get back to the shop and then a little bit tomorrow. But with these vlogs, you know, some days are just more exciting than others and today was exciting for me and I think it may be for you since we got to see our friend Barb so that was really exciting okay I'm gonna keep driving get go to the post office get back to the shop and then we got game night tonight well I walk in back from my shopping lunch with Barb 
And let me show you what my sweet husband has done. We're cataloging Liberace. <laughs> All my Liberace records. Um, so Mark is making a list. You can see how I do have some repeats. Um, but I, my, I have, a, I have a, a plan that I'm wanting to do with these. I'm not going to show you what that is yet. But we're cataloging. I do have some boxed sets too. But right now we're just kind of focusing on. But wasn't that sweet? He's wanting to make sure I have all of the Liberace. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love with you. Girls, you need to be with someone. Oh no. What'd you do? Oh, he hooked up my record player to the speakers. Girls, marry you someone that will uh, get your catalog, your Liberace records. Oh. Think Liberace! Liberace! Listen! Mark, I'm surprised you're allowing this to happen. What a good husband you are. Hi, you know what I forgot to take along with me when we went on our trip is our positive thinking affirmations. So we have to get, we have some catching up to do. Today is the 20th, so we're just gonna skip over to the 20th. Okay, so January 20th, again, these books, I have them linked in my Amazon storefront, which is linked down below. This is A Year of Positive Thinking, Daily Inspiration, Wisdom, and Courage by Cindy Spiegel. So January 20th says, worth, worth, worthiness is a choice. You are worthy, more worthy than you will ever understand. But the only one who can ultimately determine that reality is you. That's that's a good one too. Because I think that living in this age of social media that we live in, we're always comparing ourselves to other people. And your worthiness should just be, be based on, even if it's a day-to-day -day thing. I got out of bed. I made my bed. You know, I got a load of laundry done. I listed five things on eBay. Little things like that. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter what anybody else and everybody else is doing. This other, this, these are our affirmation cards. They are happier me. And I just randomly am picking one out and then I'm gonna put them in, put it in as a package topper to an order that I get. And I always like to see if they kind of pair up. So this one is I radiate confidence and positivity. You know, I get a lot of people that will comment and say, oh, you're always so upbeat and positive. And Mark can be here. I'm not always upbeat and positive. I have very dark days where I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get out of bed. But I try to at least tell myself one thing. What one thing do I have to look forward to today? Or what is one thing that I can say, you know, I'm really thankful. I'm thankful to have a husband that's going to go through my Liberace records and catalog them for me. That's pretty amazing. That's something to be thankful for. You know, we all have days that are good and some days that, that are bad. And with me doing more vlogs and kind of daily vlogs, you're gonna see some days where I'm not too happy or, you know, I'm not feeling very good. The back of this card says, you are your thoughts. Always choose to speak and think nicely about yourself and the results will show quickly. I really like that. No matter what you're going through, and some of you are know are going through some horrific things right now, and you're going through, and you're like looking at things that you don't even want to think about dealing with. But you know, if you can just speak to yourself a little kinder, and it 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 definitely helps a little bit. So, okay, there are those, and hopefully I'll remember to do them tomorrow. All right, now that I've gotten back. I really need to get my reel, at least get the reel done for Monday's sale. Let me go over and show you what I'm going to be selling. Well, you know, let me finish pulling everything that I'm going to be selling Monday, 1 o'clock p.m. over on Mid-Century Wasted's YouTube channel. 
Um, and then I'll show, I'll give you a little bit of a preview of what, what I'm going to be selling on Monday. All righty. So these are the things that I pulled for Monday's sale. Um, I've got some of these large Valentines. Look at her. Oh, Mark, can you help me? That little tab there. Show the people what happens when you pull down that little tab. Oh, oh hers in love. Her little eyeballs turn to hearts. It says, I can't see anybody but you. Valentine. Um, and then this big girl here too. She oops, she kicks her leg. And then this one here, he's a Saiyan. And this is a little honeycomb lamp. So vintage large Valentines, the big eye girl prints, a vintage newlywed game. I loved the box on that. It is complete. Um, this big girl right here with her little weird cat. These little figures, I think, just think that they're so adorable. I love the little motion in his hair. Um, oh, I didn't put that vase on there. I'll have to, I'll have to make an addition. But I love this Yoko Becky vase. I thought it was so pretty, or planter, I guess. Um, the Beaver Dam, the jelly pool that he's made by UNESCO. He's got his little spoon in there. We've got this sweet little spun head Valentine craft. Actually, you know what? I might do that as a giveaway. Hmm. Maybe we'll give her away. She is very, very cute. And then we'll add the Yoko Becky. I have his and hers chopper hoppers. Uh, this cameo cupid and his little jammies. This is another. Look at them. They're so cute. It's like they're holding hands. They're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just little figurines. A couple of the red birds. Daphne's ice anthropomorphic ice cream cones. These are the before... Oh, oh, ice cream cone. Don't fall down. And after, before and after, the vintage Fisher-Price Dr. Kit. It's complete. This is a larger pink bird. Um, this Sunday is pray day, prayer day planter. Um, a couple pieces of pottery. The Oh, this big, tall Siamese kitty cat. Popcorn Cupid and a couple of, I love these. I got these. From the thrift store, I thought that they were definitely worth someone being able to use again. Someone's quilted these um, little table runners. So I'm going to try a couple of those. Uh, and then, so that's Monday's sale. Tuesday's sale with Michael is all the stuff that's on this cart. I've got some antique or close to antique. This one is from 1923. So it is antique. Hmm. 1923 Collier's Magazines, some art glass, some more cupies, this ideal little lost baby doll, this little Inesco lady head planter, uh, laundry sprinkler. These little kids in their little winter clothes. There's her little brother. He caught a fish. They're adorable. Um, a couple of Daphne's pieces. Oh my gosh, this bunny. It's fuzzy. And the little bear. I've got a metal, a red metal phone. Let me move the bear so you can see. Boop. Some of the pink. These were last year's and red. This year's, last year's. This is a vintage Avon. Meow, meow. Cat bubble bath. There's the red phone. The laundry sprinkler. This is, oh gosh, who made you? Royal crown. I did stick these flowers in, flowers in here. I think it's really, really pretty. Arnart, some Arnart, the squirrel fam family, a couple of cutie plates, which are cute for Valentine's Day. Um, this little bulbous vase with the Lucite flowers, M some squeak toys. I loved this tin. Look at that, the white rabbit. Could be Valentine's Day, could be Easter. White rabbit rolls. I liked it. And then I think that's that's Tuesday's sale. So Monday, 1 o'clock Eastern, Mid-Century Wasted. Tuesday, 1 o'clock Eastern, uh, over on my channel. That's the sales this week. Now, I think next week I'm going to have our, my normal Tuesday sale. And I'm going to have a live sale on VAMP. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But um, yeah, it was a busy day today. It was a busy day. I did go to the post office. I dropped off my bags. Um, we have game night tonight and, um, yeah, I think that that's really about it for today. I'm going to get this video edited 
And um, tomorrow I'll be back here and we'll see what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Do you got anything else to add, Mark? No, I'm good. He's good. But that's about it. But thank you guys so much for uh, being with me today. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Like a bald head, a man put his hair in the middle. I'm a red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down.